XI team is getting results when it comes to stinky water at a local apartment complex. Now it's getting the attention of city code enforcement, which arrived today to inspect what's going on. Ever since our initial stories aired about the mysterious smelly water in this community in Arlington, we get emails almost daily from people who live there sharing their experience. This is at the Red Bay apartment complex off the Arlington Expressway. We took water samples to a lab at the University of North Florida. They found a large amount of bacteria in those samples. We do want to warn you, some of the details in the story may be hard to stomach. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell joins us live from Arlington and Ann, the city felt like they needed to take action here. Yeah, city inspectors were out here on site today. They ended up issuing 11 citations worth more than $2,500 in fines. They did say that the apartment complex is making progress in some areas. We got this letter from an environmental specialist with the city who was out here today. At one of the units we reported on last week that had stinky water inside, they said that there was a blocked sewage line right outside. They said staff here showed them that it had been cleaned out. They also said a broken sewer line serving another unit had been fixed. I have had it for today. That was the reaction of Red Bay Apartments tenant Olivia Robertson to, she says, dealing with delays with management before she even moved in. But it was after that the real trouble began. Right side, um, it's clearing up uh, on the not so bright side. <laughs> I just stepped in water. I had plumbing issues of the sewage backing up um, every single day for between two and three weeks um, in the first apartment. She says it took weeks for management to get her into another unit in a different building at the Red Bay complex. It was horrible. Um, it smelled atrocious. Her new place greeted her with a different stench. To me, it kind of smells like old cheese or yeah, something. It's just gross. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even like having people over because, A, I'm sure as you saw, the dumpsters are always full of trash. There's trash all over the ground. It's not kept up well, and it smells in here. Last week, a neighbor in her building, Andrew Hurst, showed I-Team investigator Tarek Miner the foul smell coming from his running dishwasher. I smell it. Yeah, right? Isn't that terrible? It smells like, uh, it's like poop a, or it's like a sulfur. An analysis from an independent lab showed the kind of bacteria typically found in feces in the lower GI tract was flourishing in the water tested from the dishwasher. What was your reaction when you learned about the bacteria that was found in those samples? Um, I am, for lack of better terms, completely and utterly disgusted. Um, I drink bottled water, so it's not affecting me as much, but my dog until recently was drinking the tap water and he has, since I moved here, now developed serious skin conditions. She says she's glad code enforcement was on site today. I can only imagine what they think seeing the conditions that this management company has people living in. And we are waiting for additional test results for samples of her neighbor's tap water and water from his shower. We did reach out to the property management group here, SAR Management, which is based in Fort Lauderdale. They said they uh, previously told us last week that they are taking steps uh, to enhance maintenance. They said they have two full-time plumbers on site and they also are working on a comprehensive, they have developed rather a comprehensive plumbing renovation plan to address underlying issues. They also said issues with squatters have impacted service, but that's something they're working to address. They have not responded uh, today about the citations and that tenant story. Reporting live in Arlington and Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.